absolutely fantastic set. I thoroughly enjoyed that today. You were putting some of your new album songs in there as well. Yeah, I've, I've played a few. I played, um, what did I play? Uh, I played the Chain of the Membrane. I played Rocket Man from the album. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you just feel what the crowd are. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just yeah, well, it was like weird because, like, maybe I should have played later, but I can't play later because I'm filming tomorrow. So it's been great for me to play the afternoon. And, and I, you know, I was worried because the sun was shining and that we wouldn't get that many people in, but uh, we tore it apart. It was good. I really enjoyed it. The crowd seems to love it. Everyone was dancing and smiling, and that's, that's what my job's about. Yeah, I like you. He was at Sony Festival last year. Yeah. He likes this year. He likes all kinds of festival standards. Yeah. I know, I mean, yeah, we're doing Glastonbury, Shangri-La, we're doing Eden Festival. Um, I've got my own festival that we curate, uh, that I'm curating for um, mostly jazz, mostly folk soul and jazz in Birmingham. Then we're putting our own festival on it in Lovely. August in Bristol. Uh, first time I've ever done a festival on my own. So that's, it's going to be Craig, it's going to be called Craig Charles something. And we had a meeting the other night with some people from Bristol City Council. And like promoters and all that, and we came up with a great name. Then we all went up extremely drunk, and no one can remember what name we came up with. There's been a amount of texts going back and forth on what did we decide on, and no one is willing to put their hands up and say we decided on this. So maybe we'll have to have another meeting. <laughs> yeah. and what, what do you think of all this like 70s revival with Darth Punk? I mean, it's all coming back. Yeah, I, I can. Well, it's, it's now Rogers. You know. The main driving force behind that, um, you know, from Sheik, he was the main driving force behind that Daft Punk record. I played a, um, a remix of it there today, um, which is infinitely better actually, but like a bit, a bit, a bit harder, uh, a smooth remix. But um, it's nice to see that kind of um, that sort of disco dance hall groove thing coming back and getting the charts and kids getting into it because that will open up a whole new world for them you know they'll be able to go back and just come up people like the brothers johnson and earth wind and fire and things like that you know so it'll open up a whole new world to them you know so that's quite good and um, how did you feel when the public got behind bbc radio 6 music and sort of saved that station it was one of the best things that ever happened because like radio 6 music has now gone to become the station of the year so many station of the year and um and it wouldn't have happened unless, uh, unless the general government said, no, actually, um, if you're going to lose something, lose something else, because this is what we want. Because like, I think Six Music uh, fulfills the BBC's remit in, in every way. A station like Six Music is, is the reason the BBC should exist, because it's informative, it's educational, it's entertaining, and, you know, and, and it's, it's full of passionate presenters who are they were into the music and you know about the music. They might be experts, they might be enthusiasts, but you can feel that over the radio. They're not just, you know, filling in between songs that they're not listening to, you know. So I'm really glad that they saved six. And, um, standout moment at any festival you played at so far? Have you got a memory? Oh, quite a few actually. One of my best friends, Griff. Uh, was in one of those chemical toilets one time and um, for a laugh some of our friends wrapped his a chain around it and towed it down this is a glass and bring towed it down the track when we finally got him out he was really good it might be sick but it's definitely my standout moment from any festival <laughs> He didn't talk to us for years. <laughs> okay, so when can we look forward to your festival? When is it going to be? It's going to be in August. We haven't nailed the date on yet, but it's going to be kind of late August in Bristol. And uh, there's a new Craig Charles from the Soul Club CD will be out towards the end of the year, probably October time, like the last one came out. So, um, so the music's moving on, and um, we're doing a lot of depths on Radio 2 for Joe Wiley throughout the year as well, plus doing the Craig Charles from the Soul Show from 6 to 9, Sundays on BBC 6 Music. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time today, and thank you for your show. Loved it. Cheers.